Alrighty, hello everybody. I'm so excited to be here with you today and to walk you through a topic that is uh, super important to me, super um, important to all of you as well. So I, uh, for those of you who don't know me, the voice behind the screen, um, my name is Brittany McLean. I am a doTERRA diamond on the Wealthy Babes team. And I am the founder of the Diamond Drop Society, which is my, uh, my team. And so um, for me, social media is a incredibly important topic that is f completely necessary to talk about as we work through our journey with doTERRA. And for those of you who aren't familiar with my journey, I, from the very beginning, started to build a social media presence. So three years ago when I first started my doTERRA business, I was super passionate about building a social media presence so that when the time came for me to um, step away maybe from my business for a month and travel or uh, say we had to move or whatever happens in life, that I always had my social media, that I could always pull my business uh, to the online world and never really had to stress about being somewhere at a specific time. So the, I love this foundational law because it is one that is very important. And if you're just starting your business and social media is something that's overwhelming to you, I hope that some of my tips that I can offer you um, can add a little bit of value and can make your your start on social media a little bit easier. And so I really want to start off with first things first, right? How do you want your community to experience you? We all have those people online that sell mascara or sell clothing or jewelry or whatever they sell that blast you and blast your feed with promos and um, uh, new offers and all kinds of different things that really are of no, no value to us, right? And so what I find is very different in doTERRA is that we literally are in the business of service. We are literally in the business of adding value to people's lives. And how can you stand out amongst the crowd? How can you stand out amongst the doTERRA crowd, but also amongst the hundreds of thousands of people selling people product on a day-to-day -day basis? How can you um, set yourself apart from all these other people? And so my hope is that through this little uh, presentation, that you guys will um, will leave feeling like you can you can take on social media and you have your own presence um, in the social media world. But these are two questions that I kind of want you to whether it's journal on or dot jot on. But how do you want your community to experience you? Do they do you want them to experience you as your typical network marketer that all you are interested in is selling product? and making money off of them? Or do you want your community to experience you as somebody who offers hope and healing and support to people when they need it? And then how can you stand out amongst the crowd? What makes you different? What makes you different than me, different than Gerilyn, different than Cheryl or Cal? What is something that you can do that adds value to people's lives in a different way, right? Because we all have really, in, in, in simple terms, we all have the same message to share with people. So we need to stand out amongst the crowd and share our message in our own way. And so one way that I love to do this, and those of you who follow me online, you, you will know, um, up until just recently, I had... Um, had one, one Instagram account, one social media following, um, and I share on there in this way. Um, I've now created a separate Instagram that I use for my team and, and my leaders and our communities. Um, 
However, it's not something that I would recommend doing in the beginning, right? Because it kind of pulls away from you creating your brand and pulls, um, pulls you towards just developing this, this team name. Um, so stick with one social media account. Um, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the book. There's a book called Jab, 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 Left Hook. And the way that this, um, this book is kind of written, it talks about how when you are selling somebody something or when you're adding value to somebody's life or whatever it might be, you jab, 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 which is um, value, 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 and then left hook, which is usually the sales pitch. So the same, in my opinion, goes for sharing on social media. So I go by the, 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 when I'm posting on social media, I usually say lifestyle, 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 oils. So when you're sharing online, whether that's Instagram or Facebook or um, Twitter, I don't know if anyone uses Twitter, um, people want to see what's happening in your life. People want to um, relate to you, right? People want to, like I said here, when you share real life, people trust you because it's not all about selling somebody something. So if you, you can scroll through my feed and, and I've been a little bit absent on social media lately, but you can kind of scroll through my feed or, or Cheryl's or Jer's and kind of see how we lead with this lifestyle. We share how we live our life. We share the food we eat. We share the trips we go on with our families. And then we sprinkle in oils. Um, so one thing I love to do is when I'm having a bath or I'm, I'm using my oils, I'll, I'll take a quick picture. And I always have that as a kind of backup in my phone anytime I need to throw in an oils post kind of thing. But the reason that we do this is because it creates curiosity. It creates curiosity with people. It makes people lean in a little bit deeper that when you do post about oils, it's a post that they're going to read because they know that you add value to their life. You share about the things that you do. You share about maybe the personal development that you're doing. You add value in different forms. So when you're posting something on social media, I want you to ask yourself, is this adding value to somebody's life? And if you don't know what value is, I would Google it. <laughs> um, but I would... Think twice maybe about what, what you're posting online because value is adding something to somebody's life with no tie to the end result. So whether that's a blog post on your favorite oils you use or your oil routine or it's a blog post on how to set up a diffuser or it's adding something in the form of love or kindness or guidance to somebody without thinking of the end sale. So how can you lead with lifestyle on social media in the form of value? So you share, maybe, maybe this is something that you do. Maybe you share over the course of a week how you're using um, your oils or how you're, you're bettering your life. So whether that's personal development and maybe sharing three of your favorite personal development items, three of your favorite pod podcasts or books. Um, maybe it's adding value in the form of sharing with people how you um, love to, um, things you love to add to a bath or a few favorite recipes or I don't know. These are just some ideas that I'm kind of throwing out. Um, and, and that for me is the key. The moment that you switch from lifestyle to all oils and to all promos, you will start to have people unfollow you. The same goes, I will tell you, for leading with lifestyle. The more you talk about how uh, you're, you're living your life and how, how incredible your life is or how freeing your life has become, you will also lose followers. But it makes way for new people to join, um, join you and join your community. So I want you guys to always, 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 always take note of this. I want you to share your own message, not somebody else's. What do I mean by this? There is a large mass of people in the online space that just share people's posts. 
there's a large mass of people who just copy and paste what the next person wrote. There's a large mass load of people who use um, posting systems like Sinduit or um, Lead Train or whatever those are, where the posts are literally the exact same post that 5,000 other people posted on that same day. I'm not saying these systems don't work, but what I'm saying is that it's actually making, it makes your life easier, yes, but it's taking away from what our job actually is. And our job is to add value. So guys, you're using your oils on a daily basis. What works for you? Have you used Copaiba and you've had a miraculous result? It's, it's completely shifted the way you live your day-to-day -day life or how you sleep. I want you to toss a post up and, and not with any tie to the end result about how incredible that oil has worked for you. Oops. Sorry, I got a call on my computer. Um, but I want you guys to share what's working for you. People are drawn to you for a reason. They're drawn to what you share. They're not drawn to somebody else. So I want you to share openly and often about how you utilize your oils instead of just quickly sharing somebody else's post. You will notice that myself and others on our team and um, other high level leaders will share. I do share a lot on um, a lot of blog posts people write. I share a lot of stuff from my team. A, because I also want them to, people to experience our team and not that it, it not just me, um, but also because there's a lot of incredible people who add amazing value to, to the world. And so when I do share, you will often see that I share with people um, what stuff that I think is a value to them, but then I also add my own little spin on it, okay? So I share a lot of science stuff. I'll share a lot of what doTERRA has to offer and things like that, but I always throw my own little spin on it. So if you are going to share something, how can you share your message with that? But then how can you share the same message in your own authentic way? So say somebody posts about the shampoo line and how amazing it's been for helping them grow their hair. It's not something I would necessarily share if you aren't using the shampoo line. You guys see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking more along the lines of, um, I want you to share your message, share what's working for you, instead of just throwing literally a Band-Aid on something um, kind of, a lot of people will come from the concept of, oh crap, I haven't posted about oils oh, I don't have anything to post, I'm just gonna share someone's post, right? So that's kind of what I'm getting at, is how can you develop these findings, these testimonials, this, um, these exciting things and share with your community in your own authentic way. Okay, so how can you stand out? I could talk here all about um, the, there's a lot of ways that we can take the social media topic. And I, my hope is that all you do is leave here with something that you can put into play right away. Um, so I love you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Um, I actually did a quick, I, I did some Instagram stories. If you guys are ever wondering um, I do a lot of just fun little coaching or ideas and stuff through my uh, personal Instagram. I use Instagram stories a lot for this. Um, and I, I shared last week, about once a month, I will um, grab two or three blankets. I'll grab a tray. I'll grab maybe a cutting board. I'll grab some items that I have in, in my home that make for a beautiful backdrop kind of thing. I lay them out. We have a, a coffee table in our living room with, with barn board on it in a big window, and I will lay out some stuff on this table, and I'll do some, they're called flat lays. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this term or, or know this term from, from photography or anything, 
Um, but I will lay some, some product out on a table or um, out on a blanket or kind of, um, you guys can look through the, it's the Diamond Drop Society on Instagram and kind of see what I've done. Once a month, take some products. I'll take the promo products. I'll lay them out on the table. I'll take some photos, some personal photos myself and upload them into a Google Drive and use these photos for anything I'm doing, whether it's promos, whether it's sharing about an oil. Instead of sharing photos that maybe doTERRA posts, I will share my own photos. Why? Because this makes you stand out. We see, guys, the first of the month, I see hundreds, if not thousands, of people just sharing doTERRA's promos. And I'm not saying this is a bad thing, okay? This is, doTERRA creates this stuff for us for a reason. But we as a team stand out. We do things differently. And so if you want your business to propel forward, how can you do things different? How can you stand out amongst this, the crowd, amongst the 5,000 people we have using oils in this world? So one of the ways is to take your own photos. So you'll notice one thing that I've done is first day of the month, I popped downstairs, used my coffee table and a blanket. I took a few different photos of the three promo oils for the month. Um, so this is a fun thing that you can do to create some curiosity, right? People are interested uh, when they see a personal photo or a personal post come up. Share your own message. So how have you used these oils? How have you, um, how has this business changed your life? How can you share from the bottom of your heart? And again, what is your heart pulling you to share? So a lot of times we, we get fearful, right? Our heart is pulling us to share about how, how heavily we believe in this business opportunity or um, it's pulling us to share more openly about things. How can you share that with the world in your own authentic way? How can you share the same thing in your own unique way? So this is where it comes down to maybe you need to create a website. Maybe this is something that you need to create to set yourself apart. Uh, you'll see one thing that I've done is added a multitude of, um, a ton of different forms of value um, around our promos this month. So writing a blog post on the top five ways each of the promo oils this month have shifted things for you in your life. Toss that into the bottom of an email, right? Easy, simple. How can you, can you create a members only group maybe and share daily in that group how you're utilizing these oils on a regular basis? How can you, can you even hop on Facebook Live and do a week long series on shifting the, your mood management as we head into fall, utilizing those three oils in the promo? Maybe it's hopping on Instagram stories and sharing a few recipes with their oils or um, kind of uh, changing the way we're sharing. Do you guys get to see where I'm going with this? Being weird on social media is going to lead to, I don't want to say failure, but lead to you struggling in your business. Um, we as network marketers, need to step out from the crowd. We need to step out from blasting our feeds with, with, with promos and ads and contact me if you want oils and instead step into a place of value. Here's how I, or, or actually not even here's how I use the three promo oils. I love to just share how I'm using balance. Hey guys, I used balance this morning on my heart. Everything shifted. I am obsessed with the grounding properties of this essential oil, whatever you say. I can promise you that that is going to lead to a lot more traction with people following you and people in your community than just simply sharing a promo. So I hope that you guys got some value out of this. I hope that maybe next time you, you throw up a post, you, can, you, you think maybe a couple of times before you put the post up. 
and that this can can shift or this maybe will shift um, and give you some ideas on how to share openly on social media in a non weird way so I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope that um, this this helps you guys in, in developing your social media um, presence online.